thing. <laughs> okay, sorry. So I always hear talk about the Chinese, Japanese, and English voice acting in Genshin, but rarely the Korean voice acting. And that surprises me because it's amazing. I mean, at least I think so. Now, let me preface this video by saying I'm not trying to hate on the other language voice acting, or I'm not trying to say that Korean's better than those. I think they're all unique and they all bring their own flavors and they're all amazing in their own way. Anyway, today's just going to be kind of an appreciation of the Korean voice acting because I think it deserves some love too. So I hope you enjoy, let's get in the video. Okay, so this video is um, mostly just gonna cover some of the characters that I think uh, are kind of a unique flavor to some of the other languages. I do think in general that across the board, they do a really good job with the characters, with every character, but I'm not gonna go over every character because that would be a really long video. We're just gonna talk about some of my absolute favorites. Okay, first off, Kazuha, the sweet, sweet boy. Oh my goodness. In Korean, he hits different. Now, the reason I think uh, Kazuha in Korean is unique is he sounds very calm when he's alting, when he's fighting, as opposed to like a battle cry. And I just feel like that fits his character, right? Because he's a poet. He's uh, very gentil. And it feels that way in Korean. So let me show you what I'm talking about here. Okay, let's listen to this beautiful alt. <laughs> Ooh, see? Ooh, doesn't that just feel different, right? This is what I mean with each character having their own flavor in different languages. He just, when he fights, sounds more gentle to me than in the other languages. Ooh, so lovely. So Kazuha would be the first one I would say in Korean just hits different and feels unique to the other languages to me. I think in terms of the Korean voice acting, he's absolutely top tier, one of my favorites. It just sounds, it fits his character to sound so soft and poetic. I love Kazuha's Korean voice acting, perfect. Now the next character I wanna talk about is Razor. Razor in Korean really nails that wild wolf boy aspect. I think he sounds, I don't mean to sound rough. I think he sounds sufficiently dumb in Korean. <laughs> he doesn't sound like someone who has a grasp of the language fully. His voice has a certain roughness to it. Um, it's very basic Korean. So I'm not gonna fight for Razor because he doesn't really speak so much when he's fighting. Most of it comes from um, just general moving around. For example, uh, hunger. Doesn't that sound kind of raspy? Like someone who didn't learn to speak until they're way older. Ooh. Ooh. Ah. Oh, it's just so good. Something about it. Razor's troubles. Oh. See what I mean? It sounds pretty raspy. It sounds rough. It sounds it sounds like someone who grew up not speaking any language and had to learn, right? In terms of voice acting, Razor and Kazuha are both top tier for me. I think they really nailed it in Korean with those characters. All right, the next character is none other than Zhao. Now, I unfortunately lost my 50-50 to Zhao. You can check out that video <laughs> if you want to feel sad. But Zhao is another character that just, ooh, ah, they just, ooh, they just got it so hard in Korean. So thankfully he is available right now. So we're gonna do his trial and you can see what I mean. I mean, ooh, they just, they got this one dead on. All right, Zhao, let us listen. Ooh, ooh, doesn't that feel good? All right, let's alt. Ooh, ooh, isn't that just lovely? This kind of makes me want to use my guarantee on Zhao, but I gotta stay strong. Oh my gosh. Yeah. All right, here we go, alt again. Ooh. It sounds so dark. Something about it's so dark, like in pain. You really feel it right in your bones. Oh. Ugh. Stay strong for Zhongli. Don't pull for Zhao. You already lost your 50-50. Oh, but he's so good. Anyway, so Zhao also top tier Korean voice acting. I think so. Ooh. 
All right, next on my list here, t t t t t Toma. Look at this man. Now in Korean, I'm not gonna say that I feel as though it suits his character more than the other languages. I feel like all the languages did a good job with Toma. It's just something about it is so smooth and really, for me, easier to understand than a lot of the other Korean voice acting. Like it sounds very clear to me. So let me show you what I mean. Something about Toma's uh, Korean voice actor too. It just feels really chummy to me. Like it feels really friendly. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. All right, let's do a skill. Ooh. All right, let's get a burst in. Ooh, something about Toma's uh, Korean voice just sounds like butter. He's he's not very strong though, so we're gonna run away from this boss. Let's listen to some of his idle animations. Oh, see what I mean? Something about him sounds really friendly in Korean. His voice sounds very full and like rich. Okay, right, the next character I want to talk about is Rosaria. Again, I feel like they just nailed this in Korean. She sounds like she does not care if you live or die, and I love that. Ooh. It sounds like it sounds like she's a whisper in the wind. Shout out to Oshinid, who also has a cool Korean voice. Ugh, of course it's the birds. I didn't bring anyone for the birds! Alright, let's listen. Alright, let's skill these guys. Ooh. Beautiful. Alright, let's burst. Ooh, cha cha. Isn't that beautiful? Something about that. So lovely. So that's why I love Rosaria's voice acting. It's soft, but strong. It sounds like she could crush you into a million little pieces, and it's amazing. All right, next I want to talk about Benny Boy. I think Bennett's one of the characters that really varies in every language. I've noticed he sounds very different in Japanese. The reason I like Bennett's Korean voice acting is because he sounds like uh, like a kid, like an innocent, uh, an innocent boy who has no idea that the world is about to absolutely crush him. Oh my goodness, I'm so sorry, Benny. I just think in Korean he sounds fun and happy. Uh, in Japanese, I noticed his voice seems a lot lower to me and he seems older. And if I was to listen to the Japanese voice and look at Benny, it would make me think he's like 15 or 16. But in Korean, he sounds like 13 or 12. Like he sounds younger. Uh, and I think that suits him, his character. He seems young and naive and like he's trying his just his absolute bestest and I love him. All right, let's go. Let's do some Benny skill and burst and hear this young lad in action. All right, let's burst. Let's burst again. Yeah, he just sounds young and fun. I'm not saying that he sounds worse in other languages. I just think like with many of the other characters I've talked about, it suits him, the voice suits him. Okay, and last but certainly not least, Arataki Ito. Ooh, now I will say, I feel like they nailed this in every language. Every language has its own spin to it with the way that they voiced him. But I do, I do love his voice in Korean. I think it's adequately silly. Uh, a little bit, a little bit stupid, no offense, Ito. A little bit dumb, just a, just a little bit. But still has some, some, some like beefy power behind it. I'll show you what I mean. Let's go fight Wolf Puppy. Again, I listened to Ito's trailer in every language and they were all amazing. But in Korean, I think he does deserve some recognition as well. Okay, let's eat the cow just for fun. Ooh, all right, let's ult. Nice. Ooh, see what I mean? I feel beefy. So that's what I mean when I talk about Ito's Korean voice acting. And special shout out to his running voice line. Let's do it. Isn't that so cute? <laughs> anyway, Ito is another character that is just so fun in Korean, and I think they really did a great job with him. All right, anyway, just a quick video again to appreciate some of the Korean voice acting, because I feel like it doesn't get a lot of love, and it really deserves it, and I hope you think so too. I don't have every character, so I have more experience with the ones I actually own. I'm not trying to say that the ones I didn't mention didn't do an excellent job as well. Again, I didn't want to make this video like an hour long, blabbing about how good all the Korean voices are. <laughs> I know I keep saying this, but it is just a different flavor and it brings its own unique spin to the characters. And I think it's worth a listen. But anyway, thank you for watching the video. Kamsamida. I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!
Don't hurt my toe, Ma. 